Hi, Tom Larson here with Tech Training for Teachers. In today's episode, I'll be covering the latest announcements concerning Google Classroom heard at the Learning with Google Global virtual event. Let's get started. While most of the new features will be available free of charge, there are a few exclusive to paying Google Workspace organizations. You can identify which are paid or premium features based on whether or not the money symbol appears on the slide. Having said that, let's dive in. While not an exclusive Google Classroom tool, many teachers use forms and quizzes in their virtual classrooms to assess and chart progress. Students will now be able to save their progress in a Google form. Drafts will be saved for up to 30 days or until the form is complete. Google admins will now be able to create classes, populate and sync rosters directly to Classroom from their student information systems. This will prevent teachers from having to do this on their own. Classroom add-ons will allow teachers to choose their favorite third-party applications from a marketplace and then assign it to their students directly from within Classroom, all without any extra logins. Students are able to stay completely inside Google Classroom and not go anywhere else while at the same time using tools like Kahoot and Nearpod. Teachers will now be able to more easily switch between student submissions, grading work while viewing an assignment, and sharing feedback. Student engagement tracking will allow teachers to see relevant stats to better understand how students are tracking and interacting with Google Classroom every day. All teachers will now be able to customize their classroom assignment posts using rich text formatting, including bold, italics, underline, and bullets. Students will be able to use this too. Grade exporting in Google Classroom will now be expanded to the Aspen Student Information System. Originality reports are now being extended to 15 additional languages. Beginning with Android mobile devices, students will be able to start their work offline, review their assignments, open their drive attachments, write their assignments in Google Docs without an internet connection. They will then be able to submit their assignments once they're back online. Again, starting with Android mobile devices, students will now be able to utilize a built-in scanner, which will make it easier to combine photos into a single document. Cropping, rotating, and improving lighting controls will also be available to students. Teachers will be able to sync Google Classroom rosters with CS First, greatly simplifying the assignment administration process. And while not mentioned at the Google Global Learning event, we have received word where it appears to be a strong possibility that teachers are finally going to be able to schedule posts for multiple classes at the same time in Google Classroom. I know this is a request I have heard from several teachers. It will be a welcome addition. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications so you'll know exactly when new content is posted.